Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. John here from Dulgens and so excited to be back. Almost the new year, the Christmas just passed away. My tree is still here until January. I'm so grateful for 2019. It was a great year. It was a year of change, at least for me. I don't know for you guys, but it was a really great year uh, and I am really grateful for that. So this is kind of my second year on YouTube channel and I hope you got some information. I know I could post more and I am intend to do this year in 2020. So on this photo shoot, being an interior uh, photo shoot, you usually, normally, you don't use uh, flash. You try to, to use as much as you can natural light. But if outside it's a bit cloudy, you should create that kind of a sunburst or a sunlight. I use the flash because I want to create some stripes on the floor, like some lights coming to the floor. When I shoot lifestyle interiors, I like to shoot with the 50 millimeter and with the 100 millimeter and also sometimes with 35 millimeter. Uh, depends on the, the mood or depends on the composition, but usually you have to have a wide shot, you have to have a medium shot and you have to have a lot of details. That's because you need to tell a story. When you make an editorial um, shoot, when you do for a, for a magazine, for example, you need to have a bit wider shots, uh, close-up details and uh, just a bit of context, uh, wide, mid, wider and close-up. I mean, you got the idea. You need to tell a story um, that makes that product to be sold and wanted. The shoot actually took place in one of the shops that I'm working. I do uh, product photography and commercial photography and also styled photo shoots like this. And uh, yeah, because they have windows, it kind of makes you feel and we can still create there some uh, uh, real lifestyle interiors. I mean, you can actually really make there look like it is in a, an apartment or into a house. In the future, I'll try to do more of those interior uh, uh, styled photo shoots because it might help some of you to show a bit how I position my lights and how to actually create the mood of that scene and also to make it look real, not look like uh, it has been uh, made with flashes and so on. So uh, this is not easy to do, but with practice and uh, with a lot of practice, you're gonna manage to create some nice shots so if you are wondering what kind of settings did I use on my camera, it really doesn't matter what settings I used. In the end, it, it, what it matters is that you have correct exposure and it really depends on what kind of look you want to achieve. Do you want a bit more depth of field? Do you want uh, more in focus? Do you want more of natural light? It really depends on what you want to achieve on those photo shoots. So I just blocked the key inside. I just broke it and it's blocked in the door. So I use a flash inside and one outside. That because the other one I cannot manage to put it outside being too windy and I don't have anything to secure with it. This cord is not enough for my flashes. That's from there to there, I need at least four more meters. Finally, I found another cord. The other light is right there. So we have one and the second light outside. For this shoot, I will start with a 50 millimeter and then maybe I'll go to 35 for take some shots with 85. My first shots should be on a tripod making a 
wide shot so I will try with the 50 right now see what's the exposure that's perfect holy yeah oh sweetie <laughs> hey. yeah cool hold it there hold it there boy hold it there you're doing a great job oh yes oh yes beautiful yes oh so sweet yes yes hold it there hold it there you have to take a, a wider lens to move it's a professional model <laughs> team yeah 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 <laughs> yeah okay hold it there a few more and then we're done yes boy hey yes Okay, it's perfect. Yes? Yeah. You're done? Okay. Yeah. Now I will turn again the flash on. This will make it look like more of a sunlight. That's why I placed a flash outside. Cool. Oh yeah, more. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> Hold it there. Okay, now uh, we can do the details. Yes. There. Okay. Yes. So now I'm concentrating more on details, so they can make a spread in the magazine. And I'm using the 50 millimeter 1.4. Set at five. Of course, I'm using also the flashes, so I can fill up a little bit because it's too dark, and I can also get some interesting backlight photos. And then details on the table, the tape. And also I have the necklace, this is important. They said they want to shot with the necklace. So here I'm going. Now I might try to do go on 2.8 on this shot. This way is brighter now. I'm to shoot this way to get more of perspective angles. Now I take the flesh out so I can shoot more of a natural light. See if we can combine them afterwards. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and hit the bell notification so you can get more of my videos and I will see you next year.